Okay, good day class. So, for your laboratory activity 9, we will be discussing the dining operations. So, dining op operation include the study of service technique and procedures used in most dining, oper dining operations or dining room. So, in food service activity or industry, preparing the dining room is one of the major activity that a hotel can spell success in their operation. Okay, so for today's discussion, this would be our learning outcome. So identify the equipment used in dining operations. Okay, so before identifying the equipment or tools used in dining operation, let us first uh, di discuss the room arrangement. So room arrangement, it is the arrangement of tables. In an important, which is an important factor that contributes to the success of any occasion or function. Okay. So room layout consideration. So first, you're going to consider the size and square footage of the room area. If that certain area is enough lang ba siya nga makahost sa, depende sa number of person nga request sa guest or sa customer. And then the aisle space for service personnel to go around. So you have also to consider if na ba siya enough na space na ang mga mo serve is makaliok-lihok lang siya and even also the customer is makaliok-lihok lang sa sila. Kaya base on niya inigtindog sa usaka guest or sa usaka customer then ma-disturb ang lain niya table. Okay? So dapat kung i-consider ang space, ang aisle so that people can go around and even the um, personnel that must serve the food. Third one is service areas or wait stations. So you have also to consider that there are service areas or wait stations for the customer before they will go directly to the um, locations or to the reception if if wedding na siya. And then placement of the beverage and coffee stations and portable bar. Okay, so dapat na agid na siya. And then number of seats per table. So before, before magyod mo mahimo ang event or mahitabo ang event, of course, ang event coordinator mo ask gid na siya if pila ka person ang mo attend and ang a certain nga event. So you have to double check also if ang na prepare na number of seats per table is enough lang ba na siya. Or sakto ba gina siya based sa request or sa gibook gi sa customer. And then shapes and size of table. So you have to consider po ang shape and size sa table. Kay namangoy uban, namangoy uban or namangoy mga table nga mo occupy kay siya dako, og, dako nga space. If kana po na certain nga event is Daghan po kaayo og guest or customer or daghan sila og bisita. So you have to consider nga unsa may maayo nga shape sa table, unsa man kadaka ang table nga akong iput up so that ang number of visitors or a number of guests is enough lang siya based po kung asa na locate or na host ang event. And then total number of guests, okay? Apil sad ni siya sa usa ka sa i consider and then types of menu serve so before before magud mahitabo ang event na ang food tasting so um the restaurant manager or kinsa ang in charge sa restaurant mohatag na sila og mga pre taste kung unsa ang mga menu nga ilahang gi offer sa ilahang restaurant tiba so you have to consider that thing also and then activities and flow of the guest the fire and safety codes and the emergency Exit. So, this is very important to consider since what a kaibaw sa mahitabo. So, very important yun nga naani siya. So, that if naagi yung mahitabo nga dili maayo, then the guest will know kung asa sila pa doon, kung unsa na mga code ang ilang himuon in case yun nga na ay mga emergency. Okay? So, this is an example of a room arrangement. So, as you can see, na ay round table. Then, sa round table, na siya ay uh, pila lang ka seats para enough nga makalihok ang mga guest food nga naglingkod na ang round table. And then, na siya enough nga space so that people can go around and even the server also. Okay? And then, naapo siya long table. So, basically, if long table, that is, uh, kuhan ka na siya for daghan kikain na siya ng mga guest. 
Okay? So, missing plus preparation. So, missing plus, it is a French word means everything is in place. Okay, so this refers to all the basic preparations in dining or service area before set up and food service are undertaken. So, there this um, na yung mga basic activities na kailangan i-consider in doing the missing plus. Okay, so first, pick up and cleaning of equipments and supplies. So, in doing so, you have to list down all the items to pick up and to be installed in the service station. You have to bring the requested items in a trolley or bus pan. You have to follow the guidelines. The china wares, okay, it must be piled by tents. Glass wares, it must be placed in a glass wire rack so that Dili siya mga hulog, yung mo siyang dalhon sa trolley. And then flatwares, it must be placed in flatware rack or utility plastic box, container, and group by type. So, di ba na ako ipakita ninyo sa lecture class na to, nga naa siya sideboard. So, kasa sideboard, na adid to'y mga sections or division kung asa ibutang ang plato, asa ibutang ang glass, asa ibutang ang other na mga, uh, other na mga items nga gamiton inig arrange ni mo sa room di ba naaman to akong gi, gi, gi discuss sa atong lecture class and then the second one or oh, the last one is check for damages and remove them and list in the breakage or losses report so you have to double check everything kay basta nang imong nabutang di ID to sa 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 table is tight crack so basically mo reklamo gyud ang guest kay Mabas nung mabuak na andan masaman siya. So, dapat ka na mga butang is kailangan na na siya i-remove and you have to list it down so that matrace lang siya sa inventory. The second one, one is wiping and polishing service wear. So, you have to prepare clean and dry cloth for wiping. Okay? Kay usually manggod, especially if mga baso, um, ma mabutang dito ang mga fingerprints so, dapat na na siya yung technique on how to handle or how to hold the glass para dili siya ma-reflect ma dito or dili mahabil ng imong fingerprint. If mahetabo na siya, then you, then you are going to use the, the, the dry cloth for wiping those things. Then, second one is dry cutleries and china wares. Using clean dry cloth, one moist, use another wiping cloth. So, dili lang ka mo gamit o, o salang ka cloth for wiping the china wares. But you have to another you have to use another wiping cloth to make sure nga da dry good ang um, items or ang mga china wares. The third one is preparing the service station and stacking the sideboard. So mo na siya ang sideboard, okay? So it is best to place a service cabinet or sideboard per area or station in the dining or function area. Items in it should always be kept clean. Okay, so, ang mga items na gibutang sa sideboard, dapat yun na siya permitting a clean. So, you have to do these things to make, to maintain nga clean ang mga item nga nakabutang sa sideboard. So, first, clean the sideboard cabinet with sanitizer. So, you have to, to use a sanitizer. The second one is, it should be that the person in charge shall prepare a par stack. Okay, ang ang kadaghan nun, okay, sa items to be stuck in a service station. Especially if large ang, large ang event or large ang gihost nga, nga event, then you should prepare good o mga enough or, or sobra pa gani kayo at akibaw sa mga hitabo um, na mga item. So that if a certain guest will request for that one, then dili na ka ato sa kitchen para mo dig ana nga items. So, naalan siya sa sideboard in which located yun siya in every station. Then, before the start of operations, the captain waiter shall check the completeness of part stack and check for dirty and damaged items and remove them from the station. So, again, double check everything to avoid inconvenience and to avoid um, reklamo from the guest. And then, supplies should be properly classified and arranged. So, again, Ang sideboard na na siya specific na mga section in which diha ni mo mabutang ang mga baso, diha ni mo mabutang ang mga plato, ang mga kutsara, and even mga um, bowls for sauces. Okay? Dapat kina siya naka-arrange so that, syempre, kay ba na mo kung asa na siya na section. So, ang if mo request ang usang ka-guest, ah, then, diretsyo na kakuha. Dili kay, puta na pa ka sa ubus, puta na pa ka sa pabaw. Okay? So, puti kid siya time.
Remember that you are offering a customer service through satisfying your guest. Diba? So, kung gila ngaya, then basically, maingon da yun ang guest ka dukay ba ito niya? Uy, kabati ba nilag service? Diba? So, magi na siyang may tabo. Okay, so, we will now proceed to the dining room equipment. So, useful or for purposes ranging from the simple satisfaction of hunger to the demonstration of wealth, well, tableware encompasses a variety of objects and tools that is utilized in serving and eating of meals. Okay, so the root, so not a different na mga uh, serving equipments nga na-classify na siya based sa dinnerware, mga flatware, mga beverageware, mo na siya. Ang root word nga wear, nag-indicate na siya basically sa number of objects made of the same material or used for the same purposes. Okay, so the more specific category of tableware can be easily broken down into four main types. So, mo ito akong giingon ka gani ha, or three main types, dinnerware, mga flatware, and then beverageware. So, you have to remember nga ang root word ng wear, nag-indicate na siya sa number of objects nga gibuhat na nga material or same sila og purpose. Okay, so let us first discuss the dinnerware. Okay, so dinnerware, um, it is another used term for tableware. Okay, this refers to mga ceramic na mga table te tableware, I'm sorry. Uh, today, often, mga, kind of mga porcelain or mga uh, made of um, china nga mga items, mo na siya gigamit good usually. Okay, this is a set of dishes uh, that refer to as table service, uh, dinner service, or service set. Okay, so let us first um, I discuss the platter. So, platter, oval-shaped dishes, when asya yung nag-width siya, ranging from 8 to 10 inches, used for serving food such as vegetables, meat, poultry, rice, and the like. So, basically, platter, um, it is a tray on which food is displayed and served to people. Uh, pwede siya... Uh, it comes from kind of different sizes, like oval, it could be round, it could be rectangular, or it could be square. The next one is the place plate. So, place plate, um, basically, this is used for ceremonial or decorative purposes. Okay, this is used as underliner for dinner plate, informal set down dinner. The next one is dinner plate. So, basically, dinner plate, this is used when a large meal is being served. Okay, so, a dinner plate is set up on the counter to serve na sa main course. Next one is the soup plate. Okay, so, soup plate is used for soups for formal dinner. So, this is used for collecting any dripping or soup from the soup bowl. So, if... And so, if na ay mga misses from the soap bowl, then it would be the soap plate will catch us and nga mga excess or kanang mga nausik bitaw from the soap bowl. So, diha siya. So, dili siya directly mo add to sa tablecloth or sa table napkin. The next one is the soap tureen. Okay, so soap tureen, it is used for serving soups or stews, often shaped as broad, uh, deep, or even oval vessel, na na siya fixed handles and low doom cover with a knob or a handle. Okay, so mana siya. So basically, this is used for serving soups, good or kana mga stews. And then the next one is tea or coffee pot. So used for serving tea or coffee. So this is slightly smaller than the coffee pot. So basically, mo lang siya. For tea or coffee pot. And then the next one is sugar bowl and creamer. So used for serving sugar and milk. Next one is gravy bowl. Boat. So this is used for serving uh, gray, gravy or mga lain lain nga sauce. Okay? Okay, na magpuyoban nga kana especially ang kana bitang mga vegetables, kana nga mga food. Diba kay na agin na siya yung adi nga gamiton so that ilahara gina i-drip down ng sauce. Para dili makabukabo. So, mauna ang ilahang gamiton. Then, the next one is the soap bowl. So, it is a 6 inches diameter hollow plate used for soup, cereals, and sauces dishes. Okay. Mauna siya. And then, bread and butter plate. 
Okay, so this is used for serving bread and butter for breakfast and dinner. Next one is cup and saucer. So um, they are used in pair good. So that if dili na gamiton ang cup, mahuman na sip, then diha siya ibutang. Dili siya maput directly sa a tablecloth. And then if na po mga spill from the cup, then it would be the saucer who will kanang magsaw ato na mga spill. Okay? Now let us proceed to flatware. So flatware, a relatively flat uh, tableware, especially eating and serving the utensils such as uh, mga knives, mga forks, uh, mga spoons. So you have to remember flatware is eating utensils. Okay, so first, serving spoon. So, kay ba na po sa ang serving spoon? ba? Then, the next one is serving fork. So, this is in partner with the serving spoon. Okay? And then, the next one is the pie server. So, it is used for serving pies, cakes, and pastries. Okay? And then, the next one is the soup ladle. So, this is used for serving soaps. And then, the next one is gravy ladle. So, it is used for serving gravies and sauces. Okay? Now, let us proceed to beverage ware. So, beverage ware, it is also called drink ware, uh, generally termed for a vessel intended to contain beverages or liquid foods for drinking or consumption. So, this is the first one, the water pitcher. So, water pitcher, generally used for serving water or juices. So, this is an example of a table set up. As you can see, so, naagin siya. Na ang soup bowl, ang salad plate, and then ang dinner plate. Okay? Anya, napod sa, mga, sa kilid, ang fish fork, ang ilang mga different knives, and then napod sa upper left side, ang butter knife, and then an another other equipments or items or, or kind of mga utensils that is used for dining. So, beverage ware. Okay, when we say unfoted wares, these are used to hold liquors or drinks. Dili siya basically nga unfoted, so wala siya tiil. Okay? So, unfoted wares, uh, mo na sila ang mga mohold o mga liquors or mga drinks. So, the first one would be the old-fashioned class. Okay? So, it is used for individual serving of water, juice, or other beverage concoctions. The second one is the highball. Used for serving water again, for beverages again, ganana siya mga ice shavings and other cold concoction. And then, whiskey glass. Okay? So, it is one and a half ounce glasses with a wide mouth and a narrow base upon for individual serving of whiskey and other alcoholic beverages. Okay? So, those are examples of the unfooted wares. When we say footed wares, this refers to a style of glass in which the bowl sits directly on a base or a foot. So, bowl and base may have a variety of shapes. So, the first one is the goblet. Okay? The second one is the champagne. The third one is the cocktail. The fourth one is the sherry. And the fifth one is the wine. So, these are an example of the beverage ware. Okay, so champagne flute, the champagne saucer, the goblet, which is the footed ware, the wine glass, the wine glass, the shaha, and then the ice beverage, and the highball, and the double old fashioned. Okay, so these are some examples of the beverage ware. Now let us proceed to the linens used for dining. Okay, so first is the tablecloth. So, it comes in very varying sizes, um, depending on the size of the table, and also na po na siya different color that would match depending on the theme of, a, of an event or the occasion. Okay, the second one is the silent, silence cloth. So, silence cloth, it is a pad that is laid under the tablecloth on the dining table to quiet or prevent the cluttering of dishes against the table. Okay, so at uh, place siya under sa tablecloth. So basically, um, table, then silence cloth, and then tablecloth. Mano siya ang set up. Then the third one is top cloth or table runner. So 
These are small cloth placed on top of the cloth to enhance appearance of the dining table. So basically, top cloth or table runners is placed that shall between the table. Okay. And then the fourth one is the placemat. So placemats, the primary function of placemat is to protect the dinner table from watermarks, mga food stain, or any other damage. It also um, add decorations, especially if the fabric is in high quality or silk yud siya, di ba? Di ba makitaan ninyo sa mga advertisement or even sa flyers nga ang placed mat, maka-add siya decorations and even maka-add siya og attraction sa setup. Okay, mag-good na siya. And then napkin, so it comes in varying sizes. So napkin, these are used to kanang mag-wipe bitaw ka o sa mong mouth if na ay mga Hugaw, and then, po sa imo pud kamot, gamitin po na siya ni mo o pag-trapuan. Even gali, ibutang na siya sa may paa so that ma, if magka-stain or inighungit ni mo na ay mahulog ng mga food, then it would go directly to the uh, napkin, table napkin dili sa inyong hanga sinina. Okay, so those are the linens used for dining. So these are an example. So as you can see in the picture, the black one, the table, round table nga na ay black, mo na siya gitawag og table runner. Okay, so place mat, the red one, and then the tablecloth, and then the table napkin. Okay, so those are the dining operations in a hotel. Moto siya tanan, and then... You have to remember that in doing a dining operation, in preparing the room, you have to double check everything. You have to be responsible in cleaning the utensils. You have to categorize them and arrange them on the sideboard. And then also, you have to consider ang mga look, ang sizes sa locations. You have to consider ang um, if na ba'y maagian ang mga tao sa events, depending sa inyong setup. And then you have to double check everything lang yun to avoid inconvenience. Okay? So, for your laboratory activity 9, so you have to do this activity. So, aside from the dining room equipment being discussed, you have to research kung sa may mga other nga mga equipments or utensils used in dining room preparations. So, you have to provide pictures, and you, you have also to cite its purpose or ang iyahang proper nga usage. Okay, so, uh, i-follow lang ni i-by table. Okay, so, i-categorize si hapon siya, if dinner wear ba na siya, flat wear ba na siya, or beverage wear ba na siya. Okay, so, the deadline for this one is on June 21, 2021. Okay, wala siya ang deadline. So, please take note on the deadline para makasubmit mo sa inyo hang activity. And then, if na-late submissions, then you already know nga na siya certain nga deduction. Okay, so the worksheet is already available in the Moodle. So, naka-attach na na dito. You just have to click para makuha ninyo ang, ang worksheet. And then, mato siya inyong i-follow. Okay, so that would be all. For today, so thank you everyone, God bless and keep safe.